Welcome to Cengage Learning's video on Adding PeerMark Questions to MindTap Using Insight 2. This is an installment of the Digital Course Support Self-Training video series for instructors. Our agenda for this video is to guide you through the steps of adding PeerMark questions to MindTap using the Insight 2 activity type. PeerMark assignments, or peer review assignments, using Insight 2 activities, require instructors to select a set of questions that students will answer as they complete their peer review. Navigating to the Peer Mark Setup tab after launching the paper assignment from the learning path, instructors will be able to toggle their Peer Mark questions. Because the Peer Mark assignment already exists with dates that are relevant to me as an instructor, I simply navigate to the Peer Mark Questions tab. From here, I'm able to add questions on my own if I'd like to add questions independently. In this space, instructors can add free response questions. These are questions in which students have a chance to respond in a narrative fashion. These answers do have a minimum answer length. Any number provided in this space indicates how many words the student is required to enter in order to fully answer the question. Here's an example of an open response, or free response, peer mark library question. Adding this question to our list of peer mark questions that will face students is as easy as clicking save. You'll see the question added right away. Instructors can also add scale questions. These are questions in which students who are completing a peer review of another student's submission are required to respond on a scale. Because scale-based questions do not require a narrative response from students, the instructor should also select a scale size. One will always be the lowest end of the scale. An instructor can choose the high end of the scale to be 2, 3, 4, or 5. In addition, an instructor will choose which verbiage they'd like to have facing students with the 1 at the low end of the scale, and the high end of the scale that they've chosen from the Scale Size Selection drop-down menu. Once the scale has been defined and identified with language, clicking Save will add that question to the PeerMark library that will face our students when they complete the PeerMark assignment. Instructors can also choose to add PeerMark questions from PeerMark libraries that they've already created and saved. Using the Toggle All button, an instructor can check all the checkboxes or uncheck all the checkboxes, in addition to manually selecting questions one by one to add to the PeerMark assignment. Clicking Add Selected Questions will add those selected questions to the list of PeerMark questions which will face students as they complete the assignment. Instructors can reorder questions at any time. In addition to editing and deleting questions from the peer mark assignment. Once the order is accurate, an instructor should navigate to the library settings menu and save their library. If you'd like to save over a library that exists, select that library. If you'd like to add a new library, click add library and provide a title. Clicking Save to Library will save the library so that it will be available as a reference from here forward. Congratulations! You've just added peer mark questions to a peer mark assignment. Thank you for taking the time to review this self training video. We hope you found it helpful. Please make sure to check out our other self training videos and resources for more help with your Cengage digital products.